This is a trader provided account. This is a non-trader provided account. What, like Wall Street? Like stocks? What even is this? So here's the deal. I need to build a new app soon. If I don't build something, I'm going to go insane. I, I feel like I have this very cool skill and I'm just not using it outside of work. I feel like a painter that's not painting, a singer that's not singing. It's a really irritating feeling when you're not making progress on your dreams. And that is what I'm experiencing. And when I don't build my own apps, it eats at me. But the good news is I have a really, really good app idea. And I don't think I've ever been this excited or this confident in any idea. I am forcing myself not only to build this app, but I will be documenting the entire process from now, the idea, to finished project on the App Store. And even after that, I'm going to share like how many users and how much money I make and the entire journey. I'm just letting you in, okay? So my process when I build a new app is sloppy. I start out with an idea, obviously. From there, I make a proof of concept. The proof of concept is not an MVP. It's not a minimum viable product because it's not viable. This is, what is the main thing? What is the main technical challenge and can you build it? Is this doable? I'm certain that it is, but I don't know how yet. The next stage is a rough design. By rough design, I mean I'm not going into Figma and creating all the shadows and specifics and color schemes. I'm getting on a whiteboard and I'm drawing out my screens very roughly. That, that gives me enough direction while I'm coding to know, okay, this is what I'm building. The next stage is building and iterating. That is where I feel like 90% of the work is done. I have this, this like sketch mock-up design and I build it. If I like it, I keep it. If I don't like it, I change it. I keep iterating. I keep iterating until I'm satisfied. After that, I test it. And the testing's like quick because while I'm iterating and building, I'm testing. And I might find a few extra bugs at the end, but it's pretty bulletproof by this point. And then I launch it. And that's it. I don't do a beta version. I don't, you know, I don't mess around. I just, I want to put it, put this thing out into the world. And by this point, I'm like impatient and I'm excited to launch it. So I just, yeah, you know, now green, this is what we are doing today because I already have an idea. I'll tell you in a second. Proof of concept. Can I build this? I'm building a screen time app to help people get control of their phone addictions and stop scrolling freaking TikTok all the time, which I'm 100% guilty of. But it, it will have a unique twist on it. That's all I can say at this point. You just got to trust me. I'm going to have your typical screen time app controls. And then during this journey, I'm going to I'm going to plug in like something really creative about it. Like I said, today we will be building the proof of concept. So all that is is showing the user screen time on the screen. It sounds simple. Should be pretty easy. But Apple's screen time API, there's like weird privacy stuff around it. So I know I'm going to have to like get permissions. We'll see what happens. But that's the goal for today. Get the user screen time to show up on the screen, period. So at this stage, I typically rely on tutorials, sometimes documentation, but I've found tutorials to be a lot easier. Documentation can be very helpful if it's written well. It is not always written well. So I just found this tutorial, the Screen Time API and what's new in Screen Time API, and it looks pretty promising. Okay, so I'm creating my new Xcode project. All right, we're ready to go. Screen Time API introduced three new frameworks, family controls, managed settings, 
and device activity. Family controls you need for access. Manage settings can set restrictions. Device activity gives you that data. So it looks like we'll be living in mostly family controls and device activity. All right, so that's where we request our permission. And we'll have a catch for the error. Failed to get permission. Cool. Device activity report extension. So even if you don't code, this is the device activity report. So we're going to have to connect total activity with something else because we're calling it total activity. This filter is saying when to monitor. During the calendar current day for now, all users with iPhone and iPad. And then in our view, device activity report, and then we're going to pass in the context and filter. That's simple enough. Okay, so here you see the name for the context total activity that links with this in our view. Now according to our tutorial, that's it. Well, that's cool. That's easy enough. Let's run this thing. Being a white screen. And there's nothing. Uh, okay. What am I doing wrong here? Let me double check this tutorial. I did that. I did that. Well, that sucks. I don't know what I did wrong here. Okay, you know what? I think I'm close with this one. But while I was looking for tutorials, I saw one by Apple. Here we go. What's new in Screen Time API from WWDC? Ooh, look, we got code. Okay, looks like they use a monitor and a report extension. We pretty much have all of that already. Manage settings store, monitor extension, Bark database, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna give this Apple one a, a go. I don't know, there's a lot more to it, but I'm gonna figure this out. Yikes. I can't do that here. Uh, okay, we'll come back to you. We're making this pie chart report. In the report extension, we also have this pie chart view. What? I need to watch this video instead of getting ahead of myself. How are they recognizing Bark database? I don't even know what that is. Bark is a parental control app. Is that like a package dependency? What is this, dude? Configuration, where's that? And then that's it? Okay, you're gonna think I'm stupid or crazy, but that Apple tutorial is like very incomplete. I don't get it. Like the code, the code doesn't match the video. It makes no sense. I skipped through a lot of that to not show you my struggling, but I worked on that for, for a little while. All right, I'm going back to the medium one. Okay, I have to figure this one out. This one was simple. It gets, look, the screen time. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Bonus point, I don't want any bonuses. I just wanna show my screen time. Oh, look, source code. They reference the video I just complained about. Whoops. Okay, let me compare my source code here. Filter, yeah, that's the same. Total activity report, total activity report. That's the same. Okay, so I did a little bit of digging and apparently when you're working with Screen Time API or really anything with permissions, you should not test on the simulator. Duh. So I'm gonna run this on my device and I hope it works. It better freaking work. Oh, I need my correct scheme. No, not the simulator. Build failed. Oh boy. 
what is happening? I need my view. I need to make sure my view. That's it. The target membership. They'll get you. And I need to run on my device. Which, by the way, you don't need to have your phone plugged in to run on your device anymore. I'm a senior iOS engineer, and I just found that out. Let me clean this. Give it a nice scrub. Build failed. Cool. What's the error message I'm getting? Work log monitor. I thought I deleted work log monitor. I don't want pie chart. Oh, I need to get rid of the scheme. Manage schemes, work log monitor, minus U. Now we should be able to build, I hope. Build failed. Yeah, we want to get rid of U. Oh, build succeeded. Unlock my phone. White screen. Just fully white, nothing on it, error in my logs, failed to get permission. Oh. What am I doing wrong? Let me Google that error. That's what 90% of my job entails. Failed to get permission, iOS. Oh, watch. I know for a fact this will work now. Capabilities, family controls. Because I'm using family controls here to request authorization. Watch. I bet it works now. Build succeeded. White. Uh oh. No. Oh! Oh! Cool screen time app would like to access screen time. Continue. Allow access to screen time. Look at that. Beautiful pop-up. Well, of course. Allow with face ID. Cool screen time app has approved access. Moment of truth. Um, son of a... He's just white again. Like, I don't know how long this is supposed to take, but... No user is going to wait this long. It just got my hopes up, man. I got nothing. And my logs are like empty. Oh, oh, look. It showed up. Screen time, two hours, 15 minutes, nine seconds. Yes. I'm screenshotting it in case you can't see it when I'm editing. I'll pop it up here. That was annoyingly tough to pull off, but we did it. Now, the old trusty, dusty green marker. Proof of concept is done. So the feeling of having this show up after struggling a little bit that is why I'm a software engineer. That is why I learned how to code. I'm addicted to that. This like, oh, we got it. That feeling, it's amazing. So for me, I just need to do more of this. Creativity is a muscle. It's good to be stubborn and push through those problems because it obviously pays off. Now I know that I can build this thing and I'm excited to continue that process. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you're interested in seeing this process at all, uh, please comment below, subscribe. There's more on the way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.